Welcome back to the lab, folks. What we've got today is this uh, Brightwin LB02A multifunction process calibrator. And uh, I got this quite a while ago, and it's just been sitting around in the box, so I decided, well, I'm going to get that and check it out today. It should be good for having a quick look at multimeters and stuff like that, checking out smaller pieces of equipment. I don't think it'd be much good for very high precision equipment, but we'll have a look. I'm going to look at it with my Bryman meter. Anyway, let's get it out of the box. It comes with a charger and this set of cables, which are actually pretty nice cables. And there it is in all its glory. Does it have a peel off here? Peel that off. And it comes with a manual. Anyway, I picked this up off of AliExpress, where I picked most of my things up. It's got a separate manual for the cold junction compensation. Let's see, what does it say about it? Is it anywhere it says, talk about its accuracy or anything? So it doesn't, it does not have any specifications. Okay, well, let's have a look at it. Let's turn it on here first. Okay, it looks like I set up to send out volts. Let me get the meter. Okay, so it should have two millivolts. And we got two millivolts here. All right, 8.0. Seems to be pretty accurate. Certainly uh, within the accuracy of the meter itself. So let's have a look at some of the basic functions here. I've got it outputting just a voltage. And if we go into here, we get full functionality and we can put in whatever voltage we want and send that out to the meter. Let's try some smaller voltages here. Let's go into the millivolt range. So we come out of here, went to millivolts. Okay, set up for 45. So we go into full function mode here, 45.1. Forty-five point one. Let's try a very small one here. I think we have to delete back. So let's try five millivolts. Very good. So come out of full function mode. What if we go up? Six, six, five, five. Looks pretty good so far. It'll do milliamps. So let's set up for some current here. Yeah, put a milliamps there, so four milliamps. And it's right on. Let's put this in full function mode here. Let's see how many milliamps can we go up to. Higher to go is 24 milliamps, and it's right on. Can we do fractions of milliamps? We can. It's right on there too. And then we can check out resistance with it. 20 ohms. Okay, let's go full function on that. What is the most we can do here? We can do 100. We can do 1000. It's extremely accurate, isn't it? Highest is 2200 ohms. 20 is the lowest it'll do. It's got also frequency outputs, so let's just put this down here. Click on Hertz. And put this into hertz mode. 500 hertz. Probably better to look at this under a scope. Yeah, let me set up a, a scope here. So 10 kilohertz. Uh, waveform is not beautiful at 10 kilohertz. Let's try it 1 kilohertz. Okay, that's a much nicer square wave there. Now we can see what some of these other things here do. So I think this is the this is the duty cycle. So let's uh, let's set that to um, ten again. Okay, and set it to ninety. Nice. Let's uh, set the voltage to one. Can we set it to one? Yes, we can. So it is DC offset. The voltage is only from zero volts to whatever voltage you you put in. It can make measurements too on any of these scales. So if we want to input resistance, okay, this is a 10K ohm resistor. Let's see what it makes of this. Very good. Let's see what the Bryman makes of it. 
almost exactly the same within the uh, precision of the Bryman. So this thing is awesomely accurate. You can also measure voltage with it. So let's uh, let's put this into voltage mode here and press that again and then we'll be inputting voltage so we'll get a, a battery or something and have a look at it here. I think this battery here should be around about 3.6 volts. Yep. And again we can check to see what the Bryman makes of that. 3.6776, so exactly the same. Let's go over to Hertz. We'll uh, use my function generator to put a signal into it. Put in two volts here. So I'm going from zero volts to two volts. And uh, we're putting in five kilohertz. Let's try 500 hertz. Right on, okay. This uh, signal and oscillator here, by the way, is, is driven from a GPSDO. So it is pretty accurate. Let's see how high it will go. Let's try 100 kilohertz. Didn't respond to that. So let's try 10 kilohertz. 9.997. So this one here, the LB02A doesn't have these functions are not enabled in it. These are up and down controls or you can just put up and down the voltage by single volts or whatever it is, whether you're milliamps, volts, hertz, whatever. And this will do it here in tenths. Or, as I said, you can go into the full function mode here and uh, put in whatever you want and output that. So very handy little device. I am really pleased with how accurate it is. I have to get into the manual. Like there's some features in here that I am not too sure of. Like if I get out of here and I go into voltage input and I go to full function mode, there's a whole bunch of things that I can set up in here. I need to get into all that and try to understand what that is. I don't know if I'll ever need it because I probably won't be using it to analyze signals. I have oscilloscopes and I have very accurate meters for doing that. But uh, it's there. If you get out the milliamps and milliamps input, you have a very similar set of parameters that you can set up. All right, folks. So that is the LB02A process calibrator. I think it's going to come in very handy when I have to test multimeters here on the bench. I'm going to be using this in the future because we've seen how accurate it is with this four and a half digit meter here. It's a very accurate meter. I will just have either four and a half or three and a half digit meters that come by here for me to, to review. And this will be perfect for them. Thanks for coming out, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.